Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl finally going back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far, and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today, we're reacting to Mike, Mike Tyson says, I am. I am God reaction video, so we're reacting to reaction video. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We have a confusion going on. We see him praying Salah one more minute, and it, as far as we just claim to be a Muslim, etc. Um, but in these videos, there's statements of kufr, disbelief. Ganja God, the God of Ganja is here. So he's, he's, he's thinking, okay, I didn't hear that right. So he asked him a question, saying, "What do you mean you see God? Look at what Tyson says. He corrects him." You are him. Okay, so you're equal to him. I'm not, you're not equal to him, you are him. From a juvenile, when my clothes had holes in them, and my afro was picky, to them nighties, Moschino and Versace, no laces in Arachis, new millennium. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. Welcome back uh, to this video. Now, I came across an interesting video with Mike Tyson uh, who was in Paul Logan's Paul Logan Logan Paul whatever he's called uh, his show yeah um, and um, a few weeks, months ago there was a video where Mike Tyson was praying Salah um, praying Salah with a few brothers uh, in the gym now this kind of shocked me because the statements that are being made are like <sighs> how could I say like if, if somebody said if Mike Tyson came and said uh, what he said about there like if he said you know what I, um, I want to have intercourse with my own mum what he said is one billion trillion, trillion times worse than that. And this is only understood for those who understand what Tawheed and Shirk is. If you don't understand that, these words are just going to be like, okay, yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, yeah? Let's watch it uh, and let's analyze because there's a bit of a confusion going on. We see him praying Salah one more minute and he, as far as he does claim to be a Muslim, etc. Um, but in these videos, there's statements of kufr, disbelief made. Now, I'm not saying he's a disbeliever and we need to be very careful here. Um, he could be most like maybe falling into the area of ignorance in the context of he doesn't know. So please hold back instead of saying, oh, he's a Catholic. He said, please, this is not your uh, place. This matters of scholars because at the end of the day, there might be a lot of factors in place which we need to take out. Yeah, Islam is run by, you know, the scholars are there for a reason. We're not here to do that. Yeah, and that's one of the things I object to us youngsters or YouTubers coming out and doing stuff like that, calling people innovators, beda, uh, this guy's a muqtadi, uh, this guy's a kafir, etc. So let's abstain from that. Let's learn from this, inshallah, and finish with the Quran ayah from Surah Al An'am. This video is with some Rastafarians. Yes, let's see what he says. I watch it sometimes. I mean, that's for Mike Tyson right there, baby. Uh, <laughs> Ganja God, the God of Ganja is here at the Rasta camp. <laughs> The God of Gandra is here. Now, that could be used as an expression of, you know, uh, people say, you know, oh, this is the Mecca of da 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 da. Or this is the, I would be the God of this, is the, to, to show yani, he, he's the best. Not literally meaning, it's an expression used, but it's still so dangerous, man. It's still so dangerous. As a Muslim, um, these words that are so dangerous. But let's carry on here, yeah? So here you can see Mike Tyson's hands are in there. There's some kind of ritual going on. Someone told me that they're calling out to their ancestors or something along those lines. And Mike Tyson's got his hands. He's not saying anything. But again, dangerous lines. Dangerous lines. Now with the Paul Logan video that we're going to watch, it gets a little bit more disturbing let's 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 watch for ourselves inshallah and let's come to a conclusion let's let's understand okay here we go everything was different you wouldn't want to at least experience that one two well, times listen, before you pass well, listen um, let's go deeper that you want to experience being god for a few minutes let's carry on that's what it does mm -hmm. introduce you to god what on do you a think one on one basis that's what people say georgie I'm listening. I'm not encouraging. Obviously, last, as a person well, in my standing, I have to actually. Talk I mean, about Adam it. bit I've, the I've apple, it. and it didn't go so well. I've after done it that. sixteen times. The toad. Mm. What do you mean? Will you see God? Like you have a legit, like you see him, or you're equal to him? So here, this guy is a Christian. He's a staunch Christian. So he's he's he's, he's thinking. Okay, I didn't hear that right. So he asked him a question, saying, "What do you mean you see God? Look at what Tyson says. He corrects him. You are him." Okay, so you're equal to him. 
I'm not, you're not between you or him. Got it. I don't think George is going to like that. He's a very no, big, no, he's no, a but, he's no, a but, very big Christian but, man. No, no, this, this is bigger than religion. Right. So one of this per pe- people there on the show, he's saying, look, George's not going to like that. He's a staunch Christian. Now, as a Christian man, he finds, this guy finds it difficult to fathom that. He was like, like and, and they believe, that, we believe they, they're involved in some kind of paganism in the context, you know, you're, you're associating partners to God. And, as a Christian who believes Jesus is God incarnate, he's even taken a bit back with Mike Tyson's statement, saying that, you know, he he's saying, I, I'm not equal. I, I'm saying, he got, Mike Tyson goes, I'm saying I became God or something along those lines or experienced it. This is... Um, and also, this, I don't... This is, like dying, this, this is dying. This is dying. This is letting, you know, this stuff you see your ancestors. You want to meet some ancestors, you want to meet people who died recently you love, handle it to toe. It takes you way back, buddy. So he's talking about some kind of drugs, yeah, or some kind of, I don't know what it is, yeah, that he takes and he causes this. And this is why it's so dangerous, brother and sister. That's why in Islam it's forbidden for you to take intoxicants in any sort because it takes you to another realm. And we believe in the unseen. We believe in the jinn and shaitan, etc. We believe in these things. So when you are open to a different realm, that's why it's, 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 it's madness. Because when it comes to doing sihr magic, when you're involved with this stuff, when you see that stuff, it's done. You're finished. Why? In the context, because you've reached a pin- kind of pinnacle of disbelief. Because now the test is done. You've seen things that nobody should see, should see with sihr and a few other stuff. So now you're just a full out disbeliever. And I'm not saying him, I'm talking about in general. So you can see what drugs are doing to him. Be it weed or whatever, except that the substance abuse has brought him to a point where he's claiming to be God. Now, Pharaoh, Pharaoh claimed to be God as well. Now, he did it out of arrogance, fully knowing that he's wrong. He did it out of arrogance. Here, Mike Tyson seems like he doesn't know what he's saying. Like, he doesn't understand, he doesn't fathom. If he's a Muslim, he doesn't, um, when I'm saying, like, he's a Muslim, but he doesn't understand and fathom what he's saying. He genuinely doesn't understand. Um, and, and, and you can see that the ignorance, the excuse for ignorance can be given. Let's carry on. This is, this is scary. Shit, bro. I don't, I'm not sure I want that smoke. Is there any... I don't, I don't know if I can handle it. Is there any, uh, like, God forbid, like, oh, if you do, like, a tiny bit too you much... You can't die. You can't die from it. Oh, okay, so it's just a for sure experience. And if you look at it medically, it's, it takes people off of drugs, stop people from being schizophrenic. Depressed, still, that's it, yeah. The snake does that as well, so does... You can't die, and Mike Tyson say that it takes people of being schizophrenic and being depressed, etc. Well, the thing is, if you take that drug, and that drug is telling you that you are God and all these kind of statements, well, he hasn't killed your body, but he's definitely slaughtered your soul. Yeah, and he's literally... And that drug, or whatever it is that you're encountering, he's butchered your soul. He's literally butchered. He doesn't care if your body's dead or not. He doesn't care, because Iblis Shaitan wants your soul. You need to understand, brothers and sisters, Iblis doesn't care if he kills your body, that's one body gone. Okay, and we're all going to die. He has butchered your soul, bruv. He's mad. And if, Matt doesn't, if you're watching this, please, just understand what I'm about to say. Uh, and, and please, with an open mind, yeah? I'm not here to have a go at you. I'm here to make you understand the statements that you're uttering. As a Muslim, they are the pinnacle of disbelief. And they are the pinnacle of ingratitude, you know? And let's just finish it and I'm going to elaborate. Uh-huh. The toad, the snake, the lizard, the centipede. You mentioned this experience. Snake. Feeling like your your soul leaves your body. No, uh, my soul did leave my body. So I have a question because you, you're, you're pretty well versed with psychedelics. What is uh, the soul? Excuse me? The soul. What is it? What If you had to describe it, what is... Th- so here they just drove into um, basically what the soul is and Mike Tyson talks about a few other stuff. That's irrelevant to our point. Brothers and sisters, right right now, the, the reason I'm doing this video is because firstly, we need to understand something. Just because we see a really popular person praying, saying Alhamdulillah, saying MashaAllah, yes, it's good to hear. But sometimes we need to understand that we shouldn't ultimately put our full trust in them blindly. Because what happens is, like a few months ago, he was praying, so Alhamdulillah, that is good. But we would highly encourage Brother Matt Tyson to study Islam. To study because it seems as if he's a Muslim, and this could be a variety, variety of reasons. It could be the fact that you know he was influenced by Muhammad Ali and etc., and he just wanted to be a part of the clique. Whatever, whatever. we don't know. We assume the best part. Like we don't know. Maybe or maybe he's genuine. He is searching, but he's mixed with the wrong crowd. 
And mixing with the wrong crowd, this is what it does to you, brothers and sisters. Like the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, it's a good friend is like someone like who sells musk. When you're around him, even if you don't benefit from anything, you're going to leave smelling good. And if you have a bad friend, a bad friend is like a blacksmith. Even if he doesn't give you any harm, you're going to leave with smoke and smelling bad. And this is what happens, brothers and sisters. Now, like I said before, I'm not doing takfir of him, I'm not saying, but his statements are statements of kufr. Yeah, it's statements of kufr. You might see someone bowing down to a tree, and subhanAllah, you can say, okay, the act itself is kufr. Yes? Does that person do it intentionally or not? That's how this discussion scholars, uh, we have scholars for. But wallahi, it's so sad, you know, because at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who's given us everything, man. And wallahi, sometimes before I came to Islam, I used to say to myself, okay, I learned I, I what shirk is, I kind of learned what tawheed is, and I was thinking, what's so hard? I don't understand. Why is it so difficult for people to worship Allah alone? You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. What is so damn hard? I don't understand. Is it so hard to acknowledge that Allah has given you blessings, Allah has created you, there's a purpose, you, the, the way you're created, the way you design, everything. Is it so hard to worship Him alone? And then I understood, you know what? SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Worship is not just bowing down to a tree. We understood, I understood it's not bowing down to a tree. People worship money. People worship the opposite gender. They literally op worship the opposite gender. That's what they do. And that's what Allah says in the Quran. Have you seen the one who takes himself as his ilah, as his desires, as his own God? SubhanAllah, the statements that have been uttered, I became God. Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim So, Brother Mike Tyson, if you're watching this, please understand that what you're uttering is blasphemy. You're claiming yourself to be God. And we know it contradicts that because you say, you know, like your body leaves the soul, etc. like that. You, you, you're mortal. You can, you can never be God. No one can be God. And the statements that you're uttering are so dangerous. Stay away from these kind of friends. You know, and we just ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and guide you. And please study the religion, inshallah, and so you can understand what is Tawheed. You know, and to show your gratitude to God and serve Him the way He deserves to be. And I'm going to end with a verse in the Quran in Surah Al-Anam because it's a beautiful verse. Alhamdulillah, it says a lot, brothers and sisters. Um, and yes, inshallah, I'm going to end with that verse, inshallah. A'udhu billahi mina shaitani rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi khalaqa al-samawati wal-arda wa ja'ala al-dhulumati wal-nur. Thumma alladhina kafaru bi rabbihim ya'dilun. Huwa alladhi khalaqakum min tinin thumma qada ajalan wa ajalun musamman inda thumma antum tamtaroon wa huwa allahu fi samawati wa fi al-ardi ya'lamu sirrakum wa jahrakum wa ya'lamu ma taksibun wa ma ta'tihim min ayatim min ayati rabbihim illa kanu anha mu'ridin faqad kadhabu bil haqqi lamma ja'ahum fasawfa ya'tihim fasawfa ya'tihim amba'u ma kanu bihi yastahziyun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran all praises is for Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made darkness and light. Yet the disbelievers set up equals to their Lord in worship. He is the one who created you from clay, then appointed a term for your death, and another known for only and, and another known only to him for your resurrection, and yet you continue to doubt. He is the only true God in the heavens and the earth. He knows whatever you conceal and whatever you reveal, and knows whatever you do. Whenever a sign comes to them from their Lord, they turn away from it. They have indeed rejected the truth when it came to them. So they will soon face the consequences of their ridicule. And by the way, I just want to clear, brothers and sisters, this is not pointed at Mike Tyson. This is a verse for us to reflect. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about, subhanAllah, giving life and death, there's going to be resurrection, and they're talking about the soul, etc. SubhanAllah, brothers and sisters, wallahi, this is a beautiful verse. And alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, all praises belong to Allah. We worship Him alone. And we ask people and call people to worship in Him alone. And this is the fitrah. This is the fitrah. And we make dua to, uh, dua to Allah to guide Brother Mike Tyson to good companions and inshallah for him to understand and learn Tawheed and Shirk and understand the statements that he's uttering. We know and we understand he may not mean that, but it's dangerous statements and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm, brothers and sisters. 
Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Interesting video. Um, I've just been thinking, I like the way he started. Oh, I love this guy, by the way. I like the way he started his video by trying to talk about how we shouldn't judge and say bad things because we're seeing this. Because maybe he meant something, but to people, it may mean that he may be comparing himself to God. And when the, I think we should give thumb, we should clap for the guy, the Christian guy, for him asking what he meant by whatever he said there's no reason to bring up paganism or whatever the case is we should also take note of um drugs drugs affect people differently you could consume alcohol and that's going to affect you different from the way it's going to affect the next person that you're drinking with all sorts of drugs that are out there and they'll just affect us in different ways like he said Sometimes you end up going to different realms and experiencing all sorts of different things. There's a reason as to why certain things are not even legal and shouldn't be actually. Although there is something that I was reading when I was still in university, I read that there's a tribe somewhere, I don't know if that was Uganda or what, there's a certain route that they take, it's very natural. And it's like they just enter some... A different environment upon taking that um, route I don't even know what it does but it's part of that tradition should we condemn those traditions as well or should we not does it do harm does it not do harm there's so many things to look uh, to look into otherwise um, let's keep ourselves safe and let's be mindful of what we say out there don't appear arrogant don't appear arrogant and let's just try our best to um understand that sometimes we may say something but the world may interpret it as as something else <clears throat> so like he said i don't have the right to judge anyone he doesn't have the right to judge anyone you don't have the right to judge anyone only um god knows what mike tyson meant and sometimes people just say these things because they know they'll start trending at the end of the day but then that's what we're living in let me know what you guys think about this video remember not to judge because we are not in the position to judge anyone make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video